The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, here we are from uh, uh, Dav Davos, Switzerland again today. And if you believed it yesterday, you'll believe it today. Uh, I've been to Davos one time, but uh, it's a little too expensive over there now. Uh, let's take a quick look here at this uh, DAX index. As you can see here, uh, we went up. We've had a little bit of a pullback here off of that pattern that uh, you know made that top up there. Uh, we stopped right where we should have, of course. And, of course, stocks are coming right back after the S&P dropped 27 handles. It's almost back to the old highs. Now, there's some very strong resistance at this level of uh, 2855 but as we've seen before sometimes it goes through uh, very very easily so you know we'll be we'll be seeing uh, what's going on as far as uh, I want to address something here about the uh, crash that we had back in 2009 uh, folks that that was not orchestrated what they did was when it was over that's when they took over but on the way down, there's not much they can do because there was too much fear with losing Lehman Brothers, which is our lar largest bankruptcy in the history of, uh, you know, the United States. And uh, it was followed almost, we almost lost Bear Stearns, uh, you know, right that. So we'll see, you know, uh, it's going to be very interesting. The euro is absolutely screaming. We're almost at 125, folks. It is a, uh, you know, it's a really big boon for you folks, uh, especially if you've been buying gold with euros. You're you're getting double whammies on that, which is uh, really good. The gold's acting pretty well, but we've well, there's a possibility here that we uh, we could be looking at a uh, a little bit of a turn here, and I'll show you why in just a little bit. But I want to move on to the FTSE because that FTSE we've been watching, uh, you know, really closely. Uh, because of this pattern that we've seen here, uh, this big ABCD pattern that formed and with two 1.618 expansions, you'll notice that we've had a pretty good sell-off uh, in this uh, over the past couple of days. So that's certainly uh, a really significant top at 7,800. But given the news and everything and the fact that the, 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 the finest minds in the world, as they tell us, are in uh, Davos, uh, for this little boondoggle that they have. We'll see what they come up with, you know, to save the world. But the U.S. dollar is uh, certainly getting trashed, and I want to go into that because uh, we are very, very, um, very, very close to some pretty serious support. I'll put this up here to let you take a look at it. But uh, just under at around 88, uh, I believe it's around 88.60, that uh, there comes in some uh, pretty good uh, support there because that's the 61% retracement of the low that we made back in 2014. And it's also the 50% uh, retracement from the low in 2011. Now, if you look at that low in 2011, you know, we, we came down, you know, uh, uh, quite a bit. And uh, this is the same thing that is happening uh, right now if you look at that move from 2010 and 2011, it is very similar to the move that we're having now between 2017 and 2018. But, uh, you know, anything below 88 is going to tell us that we're going to be heading down to at least, you know, the, uh, the 83 level. So uh, this is very interesting. There, the, uh, the euro is just, you know, it's very, very emotional, which is what you love to see. But uh, unless you're following this, you know, really closely, you know, it can be, you know, be quite dangerous. Last night, I just wanted to, to bring a couple things to your attention that, that looked real interesting here. Uh, first of all, uh, we're, oh dear, I, I always had these lined up and now where are they? Shut the front door and raise the rent. Oh, I wanted to bring the U.S. dollar on the daily here because this is where we were 
uh, when we were became you know pretty bearish on this. Once we went below the 9120 level, uh, that told us with that big wide ranging bar that we were certainly getting ready to uh, you know go lower, and and we've done that. But now we're right near this where we're at the 61 percent retracement uh, right now. I believe the dollar index is trading at 8860, and we'll be able to see if this is going to be the same thing. Now, I'm going to try to have Arch Crawford as our guest here at the half hour. Um, the question is, if he gets real busy, he won't be able to do it. But uh, with a little bit of luck, we'll have Arch on. He's got some interesting things about this big cycle day that we're looking at today. It's uh, This is the 25th of uh, uh, January. And there's something quite big in the sky. And also, Norm Winsky brought that to our attention, too, if you'll remember the last time Norm was on. And Norm will be on uh, a week from today. And uh, when we have the lunar eclipse and the super full moon, that will be a big, big thing happening. Now, with the U.S. dollar, you know, getting trash like it is, folks, this makes our products here in the United States uh, on sale. So, you know, you're seeing a huge move in wheat yesterday. It moved uh, almost 15 cents. Uh, we had a nice move in soybeans and soybean oil and a whole bunch of other things in the cattle that uh, – we talked about with Rich Anderson just about a uh, little more than a week ago, have gone from 117.50 to 125 straight up. So we'll see uh, we'll see how this begins to move here. But uh, there is a slight possibility that uh, we did make a double top in gold, but it's a little too early to tell. And uh, you know, it, it would just have to give it a little bit of time. That's the that's the bottom line uh, is the way I would look at it anyway. You know, to keep it uh, to keep it moving in the right direction, it's got to get above the um, 13.65. Now, silver has been, uh, you know, lagging badly. If you remember yesterday when silver was trading down around 17.20, uh, we we uh, we told you that it had a really possible, you know, move. We haven't even made the 78% retracement up here at the uh, 17.70 level yet, folks. It's close, but. Uh, you know, the, the big target on this, the big ABCD is 1860. If silver gets to 1860, gold will most probably break 1400. That would be my guess. But uh, all, all gold has to do now is to close above 1365. And, uh, you know, this thing is off to the races. It has a very, very bullish weekly chart that we've talked about several times. And I featured in the newsletter uh, at least two or three times. So it's uh, it, it does have a really bullish pattern. Even platinum, which has been going crazy to the upside, has been uh, been acting uh, you know very very nicely uh, also. So these are things that uh, we need to watch. Uh, I wanted to bring to your attention here. One of the, get back to the currencies here a little bit because the uh, looking at the dollar yen here, uh, we got a break coming up, but we should be able to cover it here. You'll look at this uh, dollar yen here you'll see that we're down near the 78% level. Actually, right now, as we're trading, we're just a few pips uh, below that uh, 108.90 level. We're trading at 108.75, uh, I believe. So that could also, you know, be be failing. So it's just, a, it's, at, it's at a very, very critical level. No question about it. It's uh, It can be very, very interesting, you know, when we get to these levels. We'll take a little break, 877-877. 927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus, developed by John Logan and his team, is a standalone piece of software that can change the way you trade. Let the Taz Profile Scanner work for you by scanning over 5,000 financial instruments such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Taz Profile Scanner Plus right at TFNN.com. And when you sign up, you gain instant access to John Logan's most recent webinar, How Price, Volume, and Time Make Market Profiles So Unique. This hour-long webinar with John Logan will walk you through the most powerful features of the scanner and how you can use it to become a more successful and profitable trader. You pay absolutely nothing for 30 days while you try out this software risk 
free. For more information on the Taz Profile Scanner and to get your 30-day free trial today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN. FNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Okay, folks. Uh, evidently, there was some kind of report during the break because the euro popped uh, uh, another 50 pips. It got all the way up to the 125.40. And I believe that that is very, very close to one of the numbers we were looking at. Let's just uh, pull it up here. I believe we have it. Uh, nope, it's not on that one. We'll have to figure out uh, which one I was looking at here to uh, to show you where we are. But the one that's really interesting here is the yesterday, if you'll remember, we were looking at this British pound getting ready to break out of this triangle uh, which it in certainly did as it went above the 61% retracement. It broke out of the triangle at 135.30. We've now hit, just now, as as we're speaking right now, we just hit the 78% level uh, in the British pound this morning at uh, 143.70. So uh, I think it's, yeah, 143.80, I believe is what it is. So that's another one. But, you know, these markets are moving very, very quickly. And so that's a, a big thing to look at. So... Uh, watch it. Now, the fact gold is, is now backing off. We're now down more than $13 uh, from the high. Remember, the biggest correction we've had in gold since this run uh, takes us down, you know, to a $20 lower, which would take us down to back to the 2045 uh, level. And that would be an interesting one to see uh, what you're looking at. Uh, uh, Steve, Steve Rhodes is giving us some really good information here about gold trading in euros right now because uh you know based on euros uh, the euro is uh is or the gold is actually breaking and as you can see here uh today there's a lot of selling coming into the gold this morning and I, whether that double top means anything or not it, it certainly could because you know there's a lot of a lot of things happening in these markets and the fact that uh you know that the you can see the double top here on the gold on the weekly basis it made a higher high than that previous top by only $2. So, you know, that's certainly not a breakout. And now it's, uh, you know, trading down, you know, below that level. But that's neither here nor there. If we take a look at the uh, GLD, you'll see the same thing uh, happening here uh, in the GLD, which is a good way for uh, trading 
you know, gold without using the futures market, which, you know, requires a whole lot of uh, leverage. But you'll notice the bottom that we had there on December 11th, that's where we had those really nice ratios coming together. Uh, we had a 1.618, uh, a 78% level, and then also a 50% retracement from the low last December. So uh, we'll be looking for some type of a pullback here in gold. And my guess is it'll probably be a little bit more than we want, but we're looking for around $34. Uh, that would take us down to around $13.35, uh, down for 13, say $13.34, $13.32 uh, in the um, – and that would take out those lows that we made just recently. So watch that level in the gold at 1332. It's got some uh, really, uh, really strong support there, I would believe. And we'll see if it is going to, uh, you know, hold that level. And we'll be able to uh, see if it, in fact, uh, in fact, does that. If you remember, uh, yesterday we talked just a little bit uh, about the Hang Seng Index because of the fact that we had these... Uh, different cycles that were lining up. This is a, a weekly chart of the Hang Seng. And remember, um, this is a uh, the Hong Kong market. And you'll notice that the highs, uh, it has some cyclical highs that form. We're in a one now where it's every 144 weeks. And we're in the 144th week right now. And uh, the market was down almost uh, uh, 400 points, 330 points yesterday. And so if it does sell off again, that would be a sign that, uh, you know, we'd have a possibility of reversal here, especially, you know, if it would break about 500 points from this level, we would take out uh, the weekly low that we made on Monday. That would be a key reversal week if we do get that in the Hang Seng Index. The reason why I bring this to your attention is we have a lot of friends over in the Across the pond over there in the, in Hong Kong, we go there every year, and uh, so it's uh, it, it, they want to know what's going on, and all I just do is the charts. I don't know anything about the fundamentals, so I just send the charts on, and uh, you'll get an idea of what we're looking at on some of these cycles. And remember, sometimes the cycles work, and sometimes the cycles don't. That's uh, you know that's the basic. Let's just take a look here, long term here. This is one we looked at last year. This is the euro, and one of our suggestion was, was uh, you know, on the uh, when the low was being made, you know, back about nine months ago in the euro at that 103 level, we had three drives to a bottom there and very strong support. Uh, was this a 16-year low in the euro versus the U.S. dollar? And uh, that's that big cycle that you see going from 85 to 2001 and 2001 to 2016. So this is the, the actually yeah 2016. So that most probably was the 16-year low, and that's why we're getting this uh, strength. Now, we if you'll look at this uh, very very closely, folks, uh, you'll see that 50% level right there at the 125 and change. We just about hit that this morning on this last run up. So we'll pretty good pretty good interest. Hey, we got a caller from Fort Lauderdale. I hope there don't have any snow down there. Max, are you there? Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Larry. Good morning. What can I do for you, my friend? Uh, maybe you can help an old man. I'm. Uh, well, uh, you're you a youngster are, but I'm compared not to as me. Smart as you are. And, uh, oh yeah, right. <laughs> and I, I forgot how you you looked at open interest. I, I show oh, open interest on the gold on my chart, the fallen way off. And uh, well, I I'm not sure of that because you got to be careful of those figures. Uh, what, which what charting service do you use, Max? Uh, think or swim. Uh, that one should be okay, but you know I haven't really looked at the gold uh, open interest. I'm I'm rather you know I'm bullish on this really long term, and uh, I'm I'm really at a, a, a I will double check this for you, but it's real easy to find. Here's what you do: you go to www. dot cme. That stands for Chicago Mercantile Exchange. Okay. And then when you get it up, they'll pop up, and then you just hit data. And you'll say it'll say open interest, and just click on open interest, and then just scroll down to Comex, you know, to the gold, and it'll give you the uh, the total number of contracts, whether the open interest increased or decreased, and um, you know that's it. See what uh, Mr. Z is in our room right now saying that if you're looking at Feb gold, the open interest is dropping because that's into the spot month, but the total open interest in the gold is increasing. Okay. 
See, so it's just the February that's falling off because you know we're all, next week we're into deliver. Well, there's no deliveries anymore, but they 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 want you starting to trading April gold now. April will be the spot month to trade. So I hope that helps. But the easy way yeah, to do it, Max, is to go to okay. CM. And if you have, you know, email me. It's Larry at gmail dot com. If you can't get in, what I'll do is I'll copy and post a. Um, you know how to how to walk through it, but it's really simple. They made it. They, hey, I can even do it. That's how I know it's simple. <laughs> yeah, you just I've hit. Just hit I'm, I'm trying to pull it up now, so yeah, we'll you should I get it. If you don't, if you have any trouble, you know, just uh, you know, drop me an email and uh, I'll walk you through it. But it is pretty easy to do. As a matter of fact, if you're in the den right now, uh, David White just posted how to do it. It just gives you everything right there, and you can see the CME group with the open interest and everything. It's it's really quite simple to do. The Steve Breeze is the guy that is the uh, specialist on open interest, but uh, I I really don't. The only time I follow open interest is when things are making new highs or new lows because I want to see where the players are. And uh, but you can get it everything from the CME quite free. Okay. Thank All you. Right. Thanks a lot. Hey Max, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bet eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Stay tuned for Archibald Arrington Hicks Crawford. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, with Archibald Arrington Hicks Crawford, also known as Arch. Are you on the line, my friend? I am on the line. I'm on the hook. 
Oh, there you go. Listen, Happy New Year to you, buddy. Listen, I posted the um, this Uranian chart into the room. You want to tell the folks the importance of this date? That was, is, is it today or tomorrow? Today. It's today, okay. You want to tell the folks what we're looking at here? All right. Well, this um, is an odd astrology chart. Most astrologers don't know anything about Uranian astrology. They use some sensitive points that regular astrologers don't use, and they use um, midpoint structures um, rather broadly as opposed to uh, the planetary aspects which most astrologers use. This is um, two planets at whatever distance and another, a third planet right in the middle between the two. So what we have in this case is um, Mars conjunct one of the Uranian sensitive points at the midpoint of, I think it's uh, Saturn and Uranus on the on the 30 degree dial, which is what we're looking at here. Now on the the total 360, the the big uh, bigger chart that shows everything in one uh, space. The um, Mars is opposite the sensitive point, and both are at the midpoint of Uranus and Hades. And Hades is what it sounds like, um, mm -hmm. like hell. <laughs> <laughs> and this is that date uh, that Mars is uh, touching off the uh, longer-term planets that are already in somewhat of an alignment. But Mars touching it off is today. And um, the chart you're looking at is at the open this morning, which is, you know, right now. Mm -hmm. um, but I looked also at the closing chart, and um, the um, on the closing chart, the the rising point and the midheaven point are uh, forming another pattern exactly on the close. So either the close is going to be uh, really a very big deal or there could be a news item immediately after the close. Mm -hmm. So we'll be watching for that. But I give plus or minus three days to these uh, alignments. So... It could be exact. Sometimes they are, and uh, but I give them two or three days uh, just in case because um, the action of these things is so complex that they can hit a little early or a little bit late because of other things. So many other things happening in the in a chart. In well, not only that, but we have this big meeting in Davos, and then we've. Uh... You know, we've got the uh, ECB, Mr. Draghi is out there uh, talking about the euro and stuff. So this could, uh, three days would take you into Monday, correct? Yes. So uh -huh. Monday at the latest, we would probably start to, uh, you know, see something. Now, Arch, as I recall, uh, Bill Meridian, who's our good friend, also does Uranian astrology, doesn't he? Well, he actually sent me that chart. I have it on another old machine, which is hard to get charts off of. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, wasn't uh, wasn't uh, Carolyn uh, your ex-wife uh, a really good friend of Syria Bill's uh, Bill's wife? That was she in the wedding party or something, wasn't she? Um, no. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, who, I, actually, I, I don't remember. Uh, okay, I thought that's what Bill friend. told me because I know they were very close at one time. But you know, since uh, you guys moved here from New York, I don't know. Before Bill married her. <laughs> before yeah. Bill married her. <laughs> Hey, I got a I got a question for one of our uh, listeners. Uh, uh, one one other point on the uh, uh, Davos thing. The guy from Barron's called me yesterday, and he may be quoting me this weekend. I'm not sure if it's going to be online today or if it's uh, uh, in the print edition Monday Saturday. But uh, we were talking about what it could mean, and I said, well. Trump is in Davos. Anything could happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has a. Uh, do, do you know anything about his chart, Arch? Have you had a chance to look at it, or what, what's your feeling on what's going to happen in all I the political really stuff that's going on? To his personal chart. No, mm -hmm. uh, I'm watching the markets. 
<laughs> yeah, well, I understand that. By the way, congratulations. Uh, I know you caught that big move in gold, and that's always nice, and gold's been one of your favorite things. What's your feeling on the gold here, Arch? Uh, we got a long way to go yet, or what? Uh -huh. Do you have the chart? Yes, I did. I posted one earlier this morning, and I'll post it again. I'll put it up here for the, for the folks to see it. Is that so, the one uh, I sent you? Uh, no, I just did the one that I did. Uh, so I, I, I did you send it to me this morning? Uh, yeah, 20, 25 minutes ago. Uh, oh, okay, just a minute. I'll probably be able to get it. Just give me one second. I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, but I will be able to get this, uh, hopefully, with any, with any luck at all. Uh, nope, I don't have it. So uh, okay, it's a week. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, 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 I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Arch, let me get it up here. All right. Here we. You're ready to go. Fire away. Um, it's the weekly chart of gold, and uh, it's a big triangle pattern. Actually, it's a bigger bottoming pattern, but uh, the neckline across the the top is. Um, the point to watch, and we just went above it yesterday, mm -hmm. and um, it's gone above it a couple of times in the last two years, and it only stays above it, goes above it like one week, and it closes back under it again. So we have to watch this really carefully to see that it's a legitimate breakout, but I would say that the move um, yesterday – of, what was it, 22 points and something. But, um, yeah. And that was very encouraging <laughs> that it's real this time. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, do you think that we could get to uh, 450 in gold without too much trouble? Uh, 1450? Um, this, this triangle counts uh, a minimum of... Uh, what, 350? Yeah. Wow, that, that would take it up around 1,600, wouldn't it? Yeah. So wow. that's, that's what this whole bottom formation actually counts further than that, if you count from the, what, 1050 to, uh, to 1,400. Uh, wow. Yeah, 350 points from... Yeah. The break from the end of the triangle would be sixteen over sixteen hundred. Yeah. So well, uh, I, I guess if uh, Bitcoin can go to twenty thousand, I guess we could get gold higher, couldn't we? <laughs> yes. Speaking you have any Bitcoin, you have any feeling about uh, Bitcoin or that uh, bit uh, blockchain stuff, Arch? Are you, are you involved with that, or do you know anything about it? Oh, uh, well, I, I mentioned in the newsletter in December, the early December. Uh, I think it was the fourth, that, um, that there were two dates that looked like market top to me, and they could be any market. I said it could be stock, it could be commodities, it could be anything. Hey, stay with us, Arch. We've got to take a little break, and we'll be right back with Arch Crawford of Crawford Perspectives. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. 
On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, brought to you by Nadex, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're talking with Arch Crawford of Crawford Perspectives, Tucson, Arizona. Arch, uh, we were talking a little bit about Bitcoin. You want to let us know what you think? Uh, yes, I was saying that in the uh, December newsletter, I had mentioned two dates that I would look for tops in various markets. And um, the first one was December 2nd, and the second one was December 17th. And I didn't realize that that was on a Sunday, or I would have put, you know, the Friday to the Monday period. So I said the 17th. That was the exact top day in the in the Bitcoin at just under twenty thousand. Wow! So I feel like uh, that responded to well. Well, I, I tell you, when anything is moving that fast and emotionally, the astrology stuff works much better, and to the mm -hmm. and right on the button because of the emotionality behind it. Um, it tends to be uh, far more uh, specific and immediate. Mm -hmm. Arch, we've got a, a, a question about this uh, super uh, full moon or the blue moon that we have coming up here on January 31st with the lunar eclipse. So the last time uh, we had one that was this tight was back in uh, 1866. Uh, that was the year you were born, wasn't it? Because we were born in the same uh, year, so it must yeah, be. But, uh, <laughs> it was the end of the Civil hey, War, hey, that's fella, for sure. As old as I am, so. <laughs> Arch and I are the same age, folks. We're about three months apart. Arch, uh, the question that I have for you uh, is this. Um, do you think this is going to be a big turning point in uh, in the market on this uh, solar eclipse? Well, all... Uh, lunar eclipse, lunar eclipse, sorry, lunar eclipse. <laughs> uh, all of these eclipses have... A, a, more power than just ordinary days, and I believe the reason is uh, is the high tidal force, and um, it makes you know everybody knows that the full moon and also the new moon make the high tides. Mm -hmm. Well, they don't. They think about tides in the water, but they don't think about tides in the earth and in tides in the air. Well, the tides in the earth uh, causes you know, these high tidal force days uh, tend to be bigger earthquakes mm -hmm. and more numerous, smaller earthquakes. Mm -hmm. And the tides in the air um, are important. If we are also getting sunspot activity, then we have high 
are ionization levels in the upper atmosphere, and the tides come along, and you have an eclipse at an at uh, a supermoon, particularly where it's at near the nearness to the Earth. Um, the moon in the is is at nearness to the Earth also at the eclipse. You get very high tidal forces, and it brings those charged particles in the ionosphere down close to the Earth, and that's what makes people crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, there's certainly been a lot of that going around in the world for sure. Uh, Arch, uh, just your overall view of what's happened with stocks since uh, President Trump uh, took office. With, uh, you know, this has been a, you know, something like we've never seen in history before to see the Dow move that far without any correction. Uh, this is uh, certainly beyond the history books. You got any feeling on, on, on what's going to happen? Well, just one thing that I noticed um, I, I still believe the market is highly manipulated. I don't know if a, if foreign countries have threatened to uh, to crash our markets or what, but the the government and the Fed are taking unusual um, go, roundabout ways of keeping our market very very tightly controlled. And the only times we have had the fairly uh, significant pullbacks have been on sudden, unexpected events and mostly foreign. Mm -hmm. And I mean by that, um, when the Swiss unhooked their currency from the euro, oh boy, yeah, there was a huge change, and mm -hmm. a lot of I think companies, even trading companies, uh, went bankrupt on in 15 minutes. <laughs> yep, that's right. Well, it dropped. Uh, it dropped and, uh, what twenty eight thousand dollars in a matter of three minutes. So that's pretty big. <laughs> yeah, on one contract, right? Yeah, on one contract. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the one time we had a pullback here. The next time was when the Chinese devalued the yuan, and that was mm -hmm. the last, I think, five percent correction that we've had. Mm -hmm. Except. Uh, maybe there was one on Brexit. I think it was Brexit was the next one. Mm -hmm. And then um, when when Trump unexpectedly won, the overnights were all down the 5% limit. Of course, that doesn't figure in on when most people are considering when sure. the last 5% correction. Right. But that, cause it was only that's... down a few minutes. That's correct. It was in the middle. Of, it was around. It was around midnight. Well, no, it was around 10 o'clock at night, uh, New York time, when we were watching the. Uh, in fact, I had a neighbor here that no, was, it was watching. Well, New York. It was 10 here in Tucson. Yeah, 10 in Tucson, and he, uh, we were watching the results. And uh, he uh, he bought uh, he uh, limit down. He bought the S and P. And uh, of course, he uh, <laughs> he was short, and because uh, he thought uh, the other party was going to win, and that was going to be a collapse. So when it was down the limit, he covered it. And uh, I said, you probably should go long here because it was sitting right at a beautiful number. And he said, you know, that's not a bad idea. And then a few minutes later, North Carolina came out in favor of Trump, and he's still long. He's still long, Arch. Uh -huh. he's, yeah, he's still long. He's oh, been adding. Wow. Yeah, he's made a lot of money, and he, you know, he's oh, hasn't traded hardly at all. But uh, he's we made a whole so lot of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's much better to be smart than uh, intelligent, I guess, or lucky than smart, I guess they say. So we'll see. Uh, Arch, listen, I want to thank you for coming on the show today. Why don't you tell the folks how they can reach you if you want to send uh, send out a copy of your letter? How do they reach you? I would do that. Uh, the January one is still current until, uh, I think, Feb the middle of, I mean, it has information to the middle of February, but um, it's Crawford Perspectives at earthlink.net. It's also www.crawfordperspectives.com is our website, and the phone number is 520-577-1158. And the easiest way to get a hold, to find it, is to um, Google Arch Crawford in in parentheses. So um, that's the the fewest uh, finger strokes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
listen, my friend, I want to thank you. Immediately. I want to thank you for being on. Give Joanna my best, and we'll have you on again soon. Okay, Arch? Very good, sir. Thank you. Arch Crawford of Crawford Perspectives, Tucson, Arizona, born on the same day as J.P. Morgan, April the 17th. Okay, let's take a uh, quick look here at some of these things. We've had a little bit of a pullback of about 70 pips in the uh, euro. Remember that 125.40 was within about 10 pips of the 50% retracement. So, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll be right back. Achievers rise above the rest, and when they see an opportunity, they take action, massive action. Achievers capitalize on every resource in order to experience success at its absolute max. And on Wednesday, January 31st, 5 to 6 p.m., I'll share with subscribers of Mastering Probability how to achieve even more success with the extraordinary tools that I use to call the markets. These tools predicted the Ebola 2015 stock market bottom, the December 2017 gold bottom, why subscribers added to their mining positions this month as well. Learn the pattern that projects the Dow's next upside target of 30,740. Folks, great moments were born from great opportunity. So don't miss this opportunity to take advantage of my 30-day money-back guarantee for mastering probability. All the details are on the homepage of TFN.com. Sign up today and reserve your spot for the ultimate subscriber event. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for the Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. And uh, we want to take a look here at this uh, dollar index again because this is really critical where we are today. We'll cover this tomorrow, of course. But uh, we're right at a really critical 61% level, just below, uh, right around this 88.60 level. So, uh, but if this euro closes above, you know, 125.40, you know, this thing could really, you know, really reverse. But the euro's given back 70 pips very, very quickly. The other thing, the gold has given back $13 in a matter of, uh, you know, a few hours. So that's a sign that we're probably going to go a little bit lower here in the gold. That double top on the weekly might be enough to hold it for a little bit. So we're still going to keep our powder dry to try to add to some positions here. And we want to watch for a $34 retracement in gold takes us to 13 uh, 34 
Uh, that's 20 bucks from where we are right now. I'd like to see that come in next week and not on Friday. So uh, we'll watch it. We have some important reports, as we know, uh, but nothing is any more important than what's going on in Europe today with uh, Draghi uh, talking. So that'll be a very, very important thing to look at. Uh, keep in mind that, you know, what Art showed us today on this August, uh, August, January 25th uh, aspects that are here. Uh, this is something that is uh, pretty significant. Uh, it was actually from Bill Meridian, and Arch explained it to us, uh, which was, I think, very kind of him to do that. And if you do want a copy of his letter, just go to Crawford Perspectives and, you know, let him know, and he'll, uh, he'll send you out a copy uh, to take a look at it. So watch this U.S. dollar uh, via the euro. Uh, above 125.80 in the euro is... Uh, uh, it's just right at the 50% level today on the high, and it's given back 70 pips very, very quickly. That tells you that there was something happening. We did not break any of the patterns in the British pound, the Canadian dollar, or the Australian dollar, which made a double top uh, that we talked about a little bit earlier. So watch those uh, very, very closely, because a lot of these commodities are related to the dollar. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks!